Alright, okay. I think this is going to be my last vlog for the day because I have a lot of work to do um, on different projects. Um, so anyway, uh, this one is actually not political. Um, it's still kind of philosophical, but it's more personal. I just wanted to kind of ask generally, uh, if anybody feels like responding, that's great, uh, if I'm living in a vacuum. Um, because um, I just noticed uh, some similar ways of thinking with people that I don't, I can't really relate to. Um, and so I'm not sure if it's, if it's me or if it's them. And um, I guess I have to bring it up this way because I, I have a lot of friends all over the place, um, all over the globe actually, but I'm not really close to many people. I mean, I'm close to my mom, I'm sort of close to my best friend. Um, semi close to uh, Pauline, but um, you know my mom, Amy, sort of Pauline. That's kind of like you know it. Like everybody else, I just kind of like I just see from time to time, <laughs> and then so I'm not you know. And and I, and I growing up, you know, I was always uh, I never really fit in. Uh, I was always good at standing out. So I guess I kind of decided a long time ago. Let's see, I'm horrible at fitting in, but I am awesome at standing out. Which way should I go? Let me play to my strengths and just excel at standing out because that's what I'm good at. So that's, that's how that that's how that worked. Uh, but anyway, um, so anyway, uh, my the guy I'm dating right now, uh, he's uh, very very much different from my ex um, in like every way. Uh, they're extreme opposites, I guess you could say, but in the same thought, the yin and yang thing. They still have to set that. The polar opposites have have something in common with each other. They're not just different; they're opposites. So, um, like for example, let me just uh, point out the differences. Um, like my ex came from a really hard life. My guy I'm dating, he wants he wants to call it more than he wants to make it official, but I don't really want to make it official. Um, well, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Well, actually, it's not obvious if you don't know the story. Um, because the last time I was pressured to 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 commit. And then, as soon as I committed, I got treated like an old shoe. I got treated, <laughs> I got treated like a wife who has been, you know, in a marriage forever. And then I got kind of, uh, you know, uh, taken for granted. And then, as soon as there was issues, instead of them being dealt with, dude just gave up. It was just like, oh, there's a hole in the ship. Oh, relationships take work. Oh, no, they're mindless divorce. You know, so <laughs> it was just kind of like, oh, who wants to go through that again? So I, I like, I'm gonna do do a more of a vetting process before I waste my energies and I knew that I knew that my, my my first relationship wasn't really gonna last more than like a year I just wanted to learn some things you know kind of uh, learn about relationships basically and kind of grow and we can teach each other things kind of you know um, improve ourselves improve each other but it, I guess that just didn't work for him um, but you know I don't want to commit to this to my current guy because I didn't even want to commit to the first guy I was I just wanted to kind of just date for a while and uh, you know, I was, I should have gone with that instinct, but, um, this guy, he's, you know, he, this guy's from a, a, an extremely easy life, uh, my ex is from an extremely hard life, this guy, um, you know, he's, uh, you know, my, my ex works for his money, my guy's, my, my, my guy I'm with now, his money works for him, um, you know, uh, my ex, um, you know, kind of came from a more of a, more of a liberal point of view, or as my, my current guy comes from a more conservative point of view, which is refreshing because we have more in common in that respect, but it's kind of weird when I find myself sometimes on the liberal end of issues in our discussions. Christy Love is a conservative, so when I wind up in uh, the liberal seg segment of a discussion d defending the liberal point of view of something, that something I know something has gone horribly horribly wrong so <laughs> so sometimes I wonder about that but um but yeah and uh um this guy's more religious whereas my ex uh, wasn't really I had to drag him to church which I, I annoyed the crap out of me I, I don't want to have to I don't have to teach a man how to be on be on uh top of his uh his uh you know spiritual life uh or whatever um and some other things too that you know this guy he, you know, he's he's more clean cut in certain ways. Uh, I won't I won't get into too many details because then that's giving away too much information, too much of somebody else's business whose business I don't particularly care about anymore. But I'm not trying to give away. I'm not trying to make it about that. Anyway, um, you know, uh, there's other differences. I'm trying to think. This guy's much more optimistic, and I love the optimism. He's more, um, and by optimistic I mean like 
he assumes the best in things, whereas my ex, there's something about him where he always seemed to assume the worst. Like, he would, have, he would, he would have his own fantasies of something, and then as soon as that fantasy wasn't, wasn't uh, his delusion of what it was, then suddenly he would assume the worst. As soon as there was a problem, they both have, they both have a fear of failure, though. They both have a fear of failure. They both have a way of projecting what their life is and the people in their life onto the rest of the world, and they're just assuming the rest of the world is like that. And so I'm just kind of wondering, if am I living in a vacuum, or is that really how everybody kind of is? Because, um, you know, they're different. Like, you know, my, my uh, ex, he, he was horrible when it came to... Uh, uh, crisis management and damage control and, and, and dealing with issues, working through relationships, not good at it at all, not, not good at relationships, which is pretty pathetic because I thought I was the one who was new, but um, you know, I had more endurance and, and creative thinking and maybe that's what it is, you know, because uh, neither, neither, you know, neither guy is actually particularly creative. Uh, I, I do realize now that I'm, I'm very attracted to people who are more creative like me, um, more visionary, um, wanting to save the world. Now, like I currently now want to sort of I mean, he kind of saves the world in a way. Like, he was in the military, and he, he does do sort of... He mentors the youth at his church, but I thought it was personal mentoring. It's wealth seminars, which is good, especially in this economy. But I thought it was a little more personal than that. Yeah, he didn't give me the details until I found out later. Um, but anyway, uh, no, he, you know, he, 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 uh, he not, he's not the most creative uh, when it comes to fixing things when there's an issue in a relationship or what, whatever, dating, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what I'm calling it yet. But, um, you know, he's still, he, he, but he, he's more, he's a little older, um, but he's more sophisticated, you know, like, like there's another thing that's different. Like this guy's more worldly and sophisticated where my ex was coming from like his own little world and just kind of hadn't really gone past that. And, you know, my guy is a little bit older, uh, but very, very youthful on the inside, whereas my ex was younger than me slightly, but very old on the inside, I guess you could say, which is not the best combination. Um, but anyway, my point is, he he does know how to how to handle me, I will say that, and he's not afraid of me, which I love. Because um, I, I, any guy who's afraid of me, I, I just take it as weakness, and I just, I'm not attracted to it. It's kind of like, you know, if you're afraid of me, really? I mean... I get that I'm strong, but if you're afraid of me, that says more about you than it does about me. It says more about your weakness than it does about my strength, so that's not sexy. Um, but yeah, he knows how to handle me, even though, but sometimes it's a little insensitive because he doesn't, he handles everybody strongly, you know, and you handle everybody across the board the same way, in a strong way, that can be considered uh, a little bit, you know, arrogant. I will admit, I do like a little bit of cockiness in my man, a little bit. Um, but, but, um, but with a little, with, with, with some sensitivity though, you know, it, it's, it can't just be, you can't be all cocky and you can't be all sensitive. You gotta have a little bit of both, you know, with me. But, um, you know, he knows like, you know, if, if, if I'm mad at him about anything, he just, he'll make me laugh. I'm a sucker for humor and comedy. He'll romance me. He'll romance my socks off. I'm a sucker for romance. He'll take me on an adventure or a trip somewhere. I am a sucker for adventures and trips and traveling. So like, he knows what hot buttons to push if you know, if something goes wrong and he can like then work on what's what his aspect of what's going on while he's distracting me. Like kinda like kinda like a kitty cat with a little sparkly thing, like, you know, <laughs> you know, like I'll be like playing with a little little sparkly thing and uh, you know, he'll be distracting me. And it's kind of it's kind of uh you know, it's 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 not really dealing with any issues. So it's not really working in terms of uh uh, working things out, but it's still, it's a, it's a way to, to deal with things while you're trying to figure them out, and so, I appreciate that, you know, he's got some charisma and stuff, I like that, um, but it's just like, I just wonder, like, they both kind of have this thing where they, I don't know why I attract so many guys who have a fear of failure, because I almost, I think all my male friends, for the most part, except for my ex-best friend, uh, male friend, he had a fear of success, and he could tell, but he had problems. He had something wrong with him. But most of my most of the males in my life have a fear of failure, and I know I have a fear of failure. But my fear of failure is not nearly. I don't think it's nearly as deep as most of the guys that I attract. They seem to all have this thing where um, they they can't really handle when they make a mistake, and it's kind of like as soon as things aren't perfect, they kind of flip out. I mean, like, I don't, I don't mean, like, like, my current guy, I'm not saying he flips out or whatever, he, you know, I just, I mean, like, they seem to really take it badly 
when they aren't successful at something and it's kind of like okay it's fine to kind of beat yourself up a little bit but then keep going don't i mean i don't mean keep going in terms of like uh you know throw some water on the fire and leave i mean still work with that house the house might have some 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 damages you know can maybe the it caught on fire but you don't just abandon the house you know and and you know you work you 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 keep working at it you can't just keep starting over every time you mess up is my point you know and, and some of the guys i don't understand why they all seem to have this thing where they want they they got to press the reset button every time that they uh they fail and, and that's scary you know because women and children get murdered that way when they have a husband who's just like i failed i must kill them and start over you know uh yeah no not cool so um i really don't want to attract that i really don't want to, i don't want to attract a fear of success either because that's just depressing people who have a fear of success are depressing but people who have a fear of failure are scary you know and and sometimes they get a little high strong and you're just like oh no so i i know this is another long video i'm sorry i don't know how to wrap this up because i just i these thoughts are really strong. It's kind of like, I'm just curious as to uh, why that is, um, you know, there's a hole in the ship um, and I'm going to do the same thing to fix it. And if that doesn't work, I'm just going to abandon, abandon ship. That's not, that's not leadership. It's not character. That's not heroic. And I am attracted to guys who want to save the world. I'm attracted to uh, the hero thing. Well, you know, what's funny, the guy I'm dating and the guy and my ex, neither one of them is actually my type. And I don't even know how that happens. But, um, <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, yeah, they, they both have their pluses and minuses. My current guy, I would say, has more girls chasing after him than my ex. Um, but, you know, I just kind of just wonder why, you know, my, my current guy that I'm seeing, which, you know, I'm not calling it official or anything, he, um, he's been traveled all over. You know, he's been to all kinds of places now. I mean, I've traveled all over, but I haven't been outside of North America. Like, I've traveled all over the, the United States, you know, for example. And so it's kind of like, it ama it amazes me when he projects himself, his, his, his world onto others. Which is like, you know there's other people out there. Like, what? how do you do that? How do you, you know, because when, when people who haven't been outside of the world, outside of their own little world, project their world onto others, it amazes me that they think that the whole world, you haven't been outside of your neighborhood, but you think the whole city and, and state is like your neighborhood? That's weird. Like, I mean, I guess, I guess I'm different because my mom, she's been all around the world. You know, she's traveled and she's signed out autographs on all five continents and had an album out in Europe. She's in the movie Hair. So she's had a very good life, a lot of experiences that she can share with me and teach me about. And also, and she's open-minded and liberal in, that, in certain ways. And we disagree on certain things, but that's okay. And also, uh, I'm a very creative person and I'm very imaginative. So I can, I can see things that aren't there. I can imagine things you know and so I don't you know I don't have to always experience something to you know kind of understand it sometimes and um, I've also never fit in so I'm used to having a lot of different people in you know different experiences uh, in my life who I who I get to know so I know that not everybody's the same and not everybody's like me and not everybody's like everybody in my life so I don't understand when people don't get that when people just assume like even D.L. Hughley he just assumes all black people are ghetto or something like you know he'd be like the Cosby show Fresh Prince those aren't black people I'm like yes they are okay I can identify it's called being middle class the average person is middle class in every way okay you know in a different different ways okay the average person is not coming from an extremely hard life or an extremely easy life and ideally I think I would probably be best with somebody who came from a normal middle class life like me um, because I can't deal with the baggage of somebody from a hard life and it's kind of like got, people from an easy life tend to have little issues too where they kind of are used to having things their way and sometimes they may not have really good character uh, issues when it comes to being uh, you know uh, challenged uh, I mean I think the guy who I'm with dating now he likes that I'm a challenge because he's not used to being challenged which is cool. That's kind of sexy. But at the same time, most people from Easy Lives, they, they, you put them on a stranded island and, and, and strand them on an island, a deserted island, and they don't, they're, they're just gonna, they're just screwed. You know, they just, they can't really, you know, handle too much. So I don't really like either. I like, I like in between the best. But my, my main question is, am I living in a vacuum? Because I, it just seems like everybody I meet seems to project their life onto the world. They just assume that the world is like, their people in their life and I don't see that I don't feel that way at all so I'm just curious am I living in a vacuum or is it just you know the guy the people that I meet 
that are like that. All right, so if you feel like answering, cool. If not, I'm just gonna keep asking the questions to different people. All right, thanks, bye.